Welcome to another Touch Gaming video review. Today we'll be reviewing Puzzle for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This game was available for $199. Um, it was originally available for free for a while, but the, they recently um, made it paid. Uh, so we'll start. Go to the main menu. Uh, here's the game menu. Resume game. New game. Game settings. View high scores and instructions. Go to game settings first. Uh, there's four different game levels. Easy, medium, hard, and quick. Quick is nice if you just want to have a short little game to waste a little bit of time. But we'll have it on easy because I'm not very good at this game. Um, the game clock shows you uh, how long it's been taking. Two tap moves. You can turn that on or off. There's the game volume as well, and then it's over. Um, we'll also get the instructions. The game is a quite is quite an interesting twist on pu normal puzzle gameplay. And uh, what you do is drag and drop balls to make five of the same color in a row in any of these directions: diagonal, left, or right, top to down, etc. And those and making that will remove the balls from the board. Um, after each move, more balls are added, and uh, except when you uh, complete a row. So the goal is to survive as long as possible before the board is full of balls. And uh, to perform a move, I'll show you that in the game itself. Rainbow balls work as any color and can be used to complete multiple rows at once. Uh, bomb balls work as any color, but they also move all the stones to the same color from the board. So uh, we'll start a new game. Uh, you have there's a high score thing for you, but we're gonna skip that. As you can see, it's your personal high scores. Um, so there's the little game timer. Uh, it only lets you take a certain amount of time per move. So uh, what we'll do here is um, try to move these next to each other, and you can see more balls come down. Uh, there's also multiple levels. Uh, move that purple one here. Another purple. One more purple. Oops, that was a red. Oh well. Uh, let's move that other way. Purple into place, and now in a row we get some points, and uh, that'll continue on. So we'll get some more, we'll get some red, and put them there. Get an orange. So you can see the interface is really nice. Uh, you just click the ball you want to move, and you hold it and pull it in the direction, and it'll automatically move the path the, the closest way. It looks very nice. The interface is very clean, and uh, it's very easy to control your balls. You can see here, uh, it's controlling these little F fuzzle balls. Get another row, more points. Game timer still going down. Uh, let's go there. We'll use a rainbow one here. The idea is that you can have a row of five going down and going across because the rainbow ball will act as any color, so you can have multiple row completions. But uh, that takes a lot of work, so we're just gonna get this purple over here. There it goes, and the rainbow registers the purple. Um, as you can see here, it's getting more cluttered now. So, like it said, the idea of the game is to survive as long as possible. By removing as many rows as you can, uh, probably lose very quickly. So, It'll be a fairly short video. But anyway, so we'll just continue on gameplay. There are many different colors of balls, as you can see here: orange, light blue, purple, red, green, rainbow, and bomb. Uh, why don't we use a bomb here? So what the bomb will do is, once you move this piece into place, all these light blue balls will disappear. There you go. So that really helps you clear up the board. You should use it with the color you have most of, obviously. The purple, like another purple, and there's a rainbow again. Here's an orange one. Um, just just as a note, there is also a light version of this game available, so you can try it out for free before you uh, decide to buy it. Honestly, I think this game is a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of it's very hard though, so if you're not looking for a challenge, I wouldn't recommend it. But it is. A nice laid back game. You can just take all the time you want, just survey the board, check it out, see what move you want to make, and the sound effects are nice as well. Um, this concludes the video review from TouchGaming.org. Thanks for watching.